Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel getassist.net and a brand new video of SEO series. In my previous video, I talked about what is off-page SEO and I tried to explain all the important aspects. If you still have any doubts or any queries, you can watch this one as here I'm gonna walk you through my complete off-page SEO checklist for 2021. By the way, I have already posted the on-page SEO checklist. So if you haven't watched that yet, go and watch it now. And now let's get started with today's video. As I have already said it several times that backlink plays a major role in off-page SEO. Now while doing backlink analysis, you need to check the following things. Number of total backlinks that you are getting. Number of total domains from where you are getting backlinks that is total referring domains. Which pages are getting you the highest number of links that is most linked pages. And most importantly, what are the anchor text of your links. You can do backlink analysis using any popular tool like SEMrush that is a paid tool or Google Search Console and Ahrefs backlink checker that comes free. The next most important thing to do is to check the strength of your backlink profile by evaluating competitor backlink profiles. You can use a tool like Ahrefs, Moz or SEMrush to analyze the backlink profiles of your competitors. You cannot use Google Search Console for researching a competitor's backlink profile as Google Search Console data is only available to the site owner of Webmaster. Before you start investing your time in content creation, promotion or outreach, you must optimize your website's internal linking. This on-page SEO task matters to your off-page SEO efforts because internal linking makes your content easily discoverable. If you practice proper internal linking, search engine crawlers can easily find, understand and index your content which can help pages rank higher in search results. Hence, you should keep updating and improving your internal linking using these tips. Aim for every page to have three internal links to it. Use relevant keyword optimized anchor text when linking to internal pages. Add a website footer with links to appropriate pages like product or service categories. You must evaluate which link building strategies offer the most value to your website or business and which strategies you can try with your available time, resources and experience. You should always focus your efforts on two or more link building techniques like guest blogging, broken links or paid advertising. Link building is the most common strategy for improving off-page SEO, but it is the most difficult one as it requires time, experience and resources. So depending on the time and the resources you or your company has, you can use more than one link building strategy depending on the value that it will offer to your business such as broken links, outreach, local citations, paid advertising, guest blogging, social sharing. For this step, you can do an analysis of the content of your website as well as your competitor's website and find out for which keywords your competitors are ranking but you are not. For which keywords your competitors are ranking on the first page but you are ranking on second, third or fourth page of search engines. On the basis of this analysis, you can answer those keywords by modifying your content. Content gap analysis can be easily done by using tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush. Your job doesn't end at writing content and posting it on your website. The main task starts just after that when you have to promote your content as without promotion, even the most well-written content will not rank. For outreach, you can use social media, guest blogging, influencer outreach. However, by just sharing the link of your content on social media sites like Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, you cannot get the job done. You should also follow people related to your industry, interact with them and this may allow you to build your own audience who is going to read your content or share and recommend it to other people. Guest blogging is a similar activity and tools like BuzzSumo can help you find out which types of blogs websites or influencers will be suitable for your type of content. Local SEO allows you to capture local search territory to connect with searchers in your area. 
Any business that has a physical location or serves a geographic area can benefit from local SEO. If you search Google for any important keywords related to your business and a map with three listings appears underneath it, then local SEO can help you grow your business. Broken link building offers your business one of the easiest ways to build your backlink profile. You can summarize broken link building into the following steps. Find a domain you would love to earn a link from or you can check a competitor's backlink profile. Check for broken external links with the help of tools like Zenu, Hdrifts and check my links. Find a page on your website that would work as a substitute to a broken link. Send an email to the writer, editor or webmaster about the broken link and your page. Broken links can affect your user experience and off-page SEO, which is why finding and fixing 404 errors is an essential part of any off-page SEO checklist. You should focus on broken links, also called 404 errors. When you have a broken link, it doesn't lead anywhere on your site and shows a 404 error. Having broken links can affect your off-page SEO as they offer little value to a user and serve as a red flag for web crawlers. If a competitor spots a domain linking to your site via a broken link, it gives that competitor an outreach opportunity. That outreach opportunity can cost your business not only a link but also future customers. That's why you need to find and fix broken links. So yeah, with that, we have reached the end of the video. I hope my off-page SEO checklist will be of help to you. And if you have any doubts or queries regarding anything related to SEO, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. You can also write your suggestions and feedback for our SEO series. And for now, I will take the leave. We'll see you the next time.